it's making history. I'm happy. It's good for the movement. It's happening in London, you know. And there's not one UK Afrobeat artist on the lineup that has been represented. That has been representing, or is dot, or even, or even representing us. Not mm. one. Not one, you know. Forget Kwame Flavor. And I'm not even talking on our behalf, as in oh, for Kwame yeah, okay. and for Flavor. Me, I'm good. <laughs> But I'm talking about the rest of my niggas that are, are the, even the ones that I don't even talk to cry, the people that are in my genre. That have been put in. That have been put in mad work. work. Mad work. Where is the respect? To be honest, if it wasn't for certain man that even started it, you know, most of these promoters wouldn't even have the confidence to bring certain artists down or feel like, yeah, mm. Afrobeats is cool and this and this and that. Like, let's just be real. Man's be never honest. man's never spoken like this. Because I'm not a big-headed person, innit? But it's your number one journalist, Mr. Montgomery. And, uh, I mean, we're in London. Of course, we all like Africa. This is Afrotrop. I love Africa. Now, if you come to London, there's two things that are always going to make you feel at home. The first thing is if you go to a place called Peckham. Peckham is the closest thing to Africa. You will probably see everything. You'll probably see a guy trying to sell you jollof rice in his hands or trying to sell um, um, fake DVDs or something. Also, in the UK, what makes you feel like you're in Africa is a thing called UK Afrobeats, which has kind of now revolved into Afro Swing. I did speak about this earlier um, um late last year but anyway that's not the point because qualms and flavor now you guys know if you guys know qualms and flavor they're a duo um that do uk afro beats in the uk it's quite it's quite self-explanatory now there's an event that's going on tomorrow called afro republic uh whiskey is the headliner and there's so many other afro beats artists that are there that are on on the on the on the lineup now of course if you guys saw the video in the beginning um flavor was complaining that there was no uk afrobeats artist now afrobeats uk afrobeats took off about probably about five six years around that time it had a good three year stretch so from probably about 2013 to probably about 2015 it was oh you know it was doing well over here in london but things change things happen the sound evolves and people don't like hearing the same thing and now we have afro swing artists like jay huss young bane notes so many other artists that are that are um afro beats or african um influence so majority of their music is africa um is based on africa and it's and it sits on the diaspora of africa but also it stretches and swings to other things uk bashment but the center of it is afro beats now of course qualms is complaining that there's no uk afro beats art it's not i just gotta tell you this bro and stop complaining like stop complaining you're the only uk afrobeats artist that has complained that there's no uk afrobeats artist on the bill personally for me in my opinion i don't want to i don't i don't really want i am not pressed about seeing not not seeing uk afrobeats artists now i'm not saying uk afrobeats artists are not good but let's just be honest the scene is not popping you know, there are UK acts on there. What about Malik Berry? What about Young Bane? What about Notes? You should be happy that they're there representing the UK. Because you did say people that have been doing their thing. Let's be honest, Qualms and Flavor. The last hit you had was about four, four or five years ago. And that was one that, you know, after that, noth- nothing has come. I'm not saying that UK Afrobeats artists are dead. But at the end of the day, bro, this is business. This is business and you're looking for friendships. You're looking for favours. People are not going to do you favours just because you're UK Afrobeats. You need to sell, bro, and you're not going to sell. You're not going to sell. On the bill, if you put flavor, qualms and flavor there and you put, or you put Young Bane there, which one is going to sell? Of course, Young Bane. Notes is going to sell. Malik Berry is going to sell. M- Malik Berry has been working hard and he's not even on the elite level yet, but he should be. He should be uh, um, on the elite level of WizKid, DeVito, Alameda, but he's not there. He's not considered like the big, big, big dog, but he should be. So who are you to come and come and complain? You should be happy that there are artists that are there representing the UK. And regardless of um, whether they're not in the specific UK Afrobeat scene, this is a good time for Africa. This is a very good time for Africa because five years ago, if we had something like Afro Republic, it wouldn't sell out like that. It's O2, the big, 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 big O2. Everybody is representing Afro beats regardless and, and Africa regardless. If you really want to take it back, if you want to talk about people that have been representing the UK, Fuse, ODD, Fuse ODG should be there, but he's not there. 
And I doubt he's complaining. The guy is not complaining. So stop complaining. Work hard. Put out a banger. And then people will regard you. I like qualms and flavour. I like the whole UK Afrobeat scene. But there's things about the UK Afrobeat scene that annoys me. They complain too much. You don't work hard enough. You don't put out the songs. And you complain when other people are taking your spot. Stop complaining. Work. Just work. Stop complaining, bruv. WizKid doesn't owe any, any UK Afrobeats artist anything. Afrobeats does not need UK Afrobeats to push. UK Afrobeats has, has slowly fallen off for the past two years. And the past two years have been the best two years for Afrobeats. Last year, we was, we was getting nominated for awards. Some of the biggest artists were, were having features with some of the biggest artists in the world. And this all happened a year ago. UK Afrobeats was nowhere to be found. So if UK Afrobeats really impacted Afrobeats, then that means that when UK Afrobeats fell down or when UK Afrobeats was going through a decline, Afrobeats would have also went on decline. But why is it that Afrobeats has risen? It's either UK Afrobeats was holding Afrobeats back or nobody knows. But stop complaining, man. Make, make your songs and then do it. If you make, if you produce a banger and stop complaining, people won't worry about you. People won't worry. People will be saying, why are they not? You're the only one that's complaining, Flavor. You're the only one. Now, DJ Neptizzle complained about DJs. That is a very, very, very true statement. So basically, um, DJ Neptizzle, he's one of the biggest Afrobeats DJs over here in the uk now he was basically saying that um the djs on the night or the dj on the night doesn't represent africa and that's tim westwood tim westwood is a big dj everybody knows him but he hasn't put in any work for the afrobeat scene and there's so many um djs within the uk there's dj edu dj neptizzle dj sean D- just so m- dj fifi so many djs in the uk that could have been on the lineup but why is it tim westwood at the end of the day is because they want to sell out and is it right no is it their business yes they can do whatever they want bro at the end of the day that's what it is right now where we're at a time where whoever's representing africa to the maximum level and doing well with it is going to get shine young bane is representing africa uh, notes is representing africa malik but everybody on that list look at the roster Wizkid, techno mr easy young bane malik berry like that's a big lineup. Ain't nobody worrying about UK Afrobeats artists. Not because you're not good, but because the lineup is is so good. They don't want to um, mess it up. It probably was hard work putting together this concert. It was probably very difficult. And personally, for me, I don't necessarily believe there needs to be UK Afrobeats artists there. The scene is not popping. The, the scene is not flourishing. You could have put um, um, Afro swing artists, and in my opinion, they represent Africa. So there's actually no problem. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you're over in Nigeria and you don't know about UK Afrobeats, I'm gonna leave um, some links below with some with some of my favorite UK Afrobeats artists, and you'll see some of the bangers that they have are actually within um, three years. So none of them have been really popping like that recently but yeah man leave a like comment please subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on twitter and um guys season three of the story of afrobeats will be available um just check it out man peace